It has been a gray area of the law here in Nevada. Where can street food vendors set up? Can they get a permit? It is something Fox 5 has been following for months now. And tonight there is a big update. This afternoon, Governor Lombardo signed a bill into law regulating the industry, something many have been pushing for. Kim Passoff joins us live to explain. Kim. Yeah, with the exception of swap beats and farmers market, street food vending is illegal everywhere in Clark County. Usually during the day, there is a street food vendor set up right here where I am standing selling fruit on the side of the road here in Henderson. Now all street vendors across the state will have a path to become a legal business. We had street vendors across the valley uh, becoming criminalized. Jose Rivera with Bake the Road Nevada, a nonprofit organization based in Las Vegas, is an advocate for street vendors who are mostly of Latino and immigrant backgrounds. I was seven years old when I saw the police throw away my parents' fruit that put food on our table and a roof over our heads. Mauricio Garcia Lopez testified before a Senate committee. His parents used to sell oranges in Las Vegas and were treated like criminals just trying to make a living. The Southern Nevada Health District has warned about buying food from street vendors because without a permit, they cannot verify the food's safety. And during enforcement campaigns, what is being sold has been confiscated. My grandmother and my mom would go door to door to sell tamales to make ends meet. State Senator Fabian Donate, who introduced the bill, says it offers much needed protection creating a pathway to legitimize street food vendors in Nevada. With the signing of Senate Bill 92, this opens up a pavement of so many opportunity for families. The new law mandates local boards of health create a regulatory process, a way people can apply for a permit and license to be recognized as a legitimate business, allowing vendors to operate legally and without fear of having what they are selling seized and giving people who buy the food assurance it is safe to eat. And it will now be up to the local health districts to come up with the process for those street food vending licenses, and they have to come up with that process by the end of July. Reporting live tonight in Henderson, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All right, Kim, thanks. So who will enforce the new permitting process? That will be decided as local health districts work through setting up the permitting process.